Hello and welcome to Careers 360. So today, I'm back with a detailed video for Kumaraguru College of Technology. In this video, I'll not just be covering the rankings and accreditations here, but I'll also be covering the various courses, the engineering cutoffs, the placements and much more. In this video, I'll not just be covering what the college says on its official website, but I'll also fact check it from the NIERF reports or from the LinkedIn profiles that we see online. Let's have a look at Kumaraguru College of Technology. So the institute was established in the year 1984 and it's an autonomous type of institute. It's spread across 156 acres. It's AICTE approved and it's affiliated with the Anna University in Chennai. The total male count here is 3,862 students, which makes a percentage of 67, while the female count here is 1,820, that is 33 percent. There are a total of 5,682 students in this university, which are all under 261 faculty counts. You can see even outside country, you have six students who are enrolled in the institute, right? Let's talk about the rankings that Kumaraguru College of Technology has received. So under the NIRF engineering report, you can see that it has a rank between 151 to 200, right? Careers 360 engineering ranking for this institute is 4A+, while that of the management is 3A. The NAC grading here is A++, and it is accredited by both NAC and NBA. So Kumaraguru College of Technology offers hostel services. Now these services can be availed but are available as a chargeable process, right? So for these you can see the glance of all the courses and the respective hostel fees. Now if you are pursuing UG engineering program, that too accredited one, your per annum hostel charges is Rs. 55,000. Similarly, for the non-accredited ones, it's 50,000 per annum. If you are into PG courses, again it is the difference between accredited and non-accredited, that is again 50 to 55,000. If uh, you seek admissions to the management quota for the engineering programs, then you have to pay a hostel charge of rupees 1,40,000 per annum for the non-accredited ones and that of the accredited ones is rupees 1,45,000. Let's talk about the branch-wise TNEA cutoffs, right? So if you seek admissions to the engineering courses at Kumaraguru College of Technology, then you have to meet the closing ranks of TNEA. So now coming to BE, Computer Science and Engineering, if you have a rank which is above 3524, then you can easily seek admissions to the institute, right? Now please make sure that this um, cutoff that you see here is for the year 2024. That means in 2025, the cutoffs might go slightly up or down, but based on the previous year, you can have an idea of whether you are eligible for admissions here or not. Coming to BE Electronics and Communication Engineering, the cutoff is 4,671. Even for uh, BTEC in Artificial Intelligence and Data Science, you have a cutoff of 5,102. Now this course is definitely an upcoming course which uh, more and more people pursue based on what the current employment trends are and based on the demand of the course, right? For the core engineering like uh, BE in civil engineering, the cutoff went to 29,996 rank, right? And that of the automobile engineering was about 31,024th, right? Let's talk about the degree wise intake here to see how many seats are available for admissions to this institute, right? For BECSC, you have a total intake of 300. BE Electronics and Communication Engineering, the seat intake here is 207. For BTEC in Artificial Intelligence and Data Science, you have a total seat intake of 120 seats. Even for core engineering like civil engineering or mechanical engineering, you have about 120 seat intake for each of these, right? Like I said, we'll not just cover it from the institute's point of view, but also refer it to the NIRF reports for authentic data. So in the NIRF engineering report, you can see that the total uh, intake here for the last year was about 1,431 students. Here you can also find the placement and higher studies data. So around 196 students have opted for higher education and the number of graduating students was 1197. The number of students who got placed was about 970 with a median salary package of Rs 5 lakh. 
For better comparison, we have compared the placements for the past three years and we have also given you more data about number of students who opted for higher studies, who got graduated and their placement percentage and median salaries, right? So if I were to speak of last year, you can see that uh, there were about 1093 students who got admitted to the institute out of which uh, 1197 have graduated. Now this graduated count is increased maybe due to some people who have taken lateral entry admissions to the college or those who might have not cleared their exams in the previous year and have cleared it now. The number of placed students was 970. Uh, like I said, 196 have already opted for higher education and the placement percentage sits at 96.90%. The median salary was recorded to be 5 lakh rupees. Now the median salary is obviously rising and is set to increase but what must be noticed is the consistent placement percentage that Kumaraguru College of Technology offers. So now let's have a look at the placements which are divided into various salary packages, right? Now if I were to speak of the range between 3 lakh to 3.9 lakhs, you can see 112 offers were made to various students. For the range between 4 lakh to 5.9 lakhs, about 277 offers were made to the students. And within the range of 6 lakhs to 6.99 lakhs, you had the highest number of offers, which was at 425 offers. Even above this, you have about 51 offers being made within the range of 10 lakhs to 20 lakhs per annum. So obviously you have a varied range of salary packages which can go as high as up to 20 lakh rupees. Now we can have a look at the job roles which were being offered by having a look at uh, what are the company profiles that were uh, at the placement season for Kumaraguru College of Technology. You can see about 44% of the companies that visited were about product based. 10.7% came from the service industry. Management industry had about 5.1% percent uh, placements being offered and the co-engineering saw about 40.2 percent placements. As per the official brochure of the institute, you can see that the top companies that visit uh, Kumaruguru College of Technology for placement include Amazon, SAP, Decathlon, Accenture, Larson and Tubro, Wipro and many others, right? Like we said, our data is not just limited to what the institute claims or the NIRF reports, but is also based on what the students or the alumni of the college itself claim. For that, we have referred to LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, we found about 26,001 alumni of Kumaruguru College of Technology. So obviously what you see here are the top companies, the total alumni count that has worked at the company and the ones that are currently employed there. You can also find the previously employed alumni count here. Now, uh, this data that you see here is not just specific for the engineering or the MBA domain, but for the combined Kumaruguru College of Technology and its alumni, right? So in Cognizant, you have about 1,359 uh, students who have studied at the institute and have worked at the company at some point of time. Out of this, 410 are currently working there and 349 of them have moved on to better uh, jobs, right? In Accenture, you have about 1,102 students who have worked at the company at some point of time and 320 of them continue to work there. In companies like Infosys, you have about 538 um, KCT alumni that have worked at some point of time and 175 of them are currently employed there. Moving on, we can talk about Amazon, which is again a billion dollar cap company. Here you can see that 192 KCT alumni have worked at the company at some point of time and 60 of them are con continuing to work there, right? 132 of them have been previously employed at the company and have moved on, right? In Deloitte, you have about 172 students who have worked at some point of time and 96 of them are currently working there. So you can see companies like Zoho, Capgemini, SRB, IBM, all of these, they're coming to the campus, they're offering packages that might be for you and uh, you all you have to do is just meet the closing ranks and seek admissions here. Let's talk about the alumni locations of KCT, right? You can see that about 10.46% of them work outside India and in India, 89.54 of them have been employed, right? In United States, the percentage is 3.33%, UK you have 1.29% and in Canada, you see about 1.12% of the KCT alumni. When it comes to India, you can see that the highest uh, percentage 
is four Coimbatore, which is 77.3%. In Chennai, you can find about 51.8%. And in Bangalore, you have about 7.48% of the alumni working there. So obviously, you get a very diverse alumni network, which is working internationally and even domestically a very strong and reputable presence. Now you know why KCT should be on your list for admissions based on the median packages that they're offering, based on the diverse companies that are coming in and packages going as high as 20 lakhs per annum. So if you're seeking admissions to Tamil Nadu's best college, then please refer Kumaruguru College of Technology. You can check the description for more information. Thank you.